Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is Dakota. Thanks for watching Tennessee Ray. Today, we're out here at Southern Precision Tooling doing the initial process of the Ultimate Hunting Rifle. Now, what this is, this is going to be my version of the Ultimate Hunting Rifle, whether you're in East Tennessee hunting whitetail or whether you're out west hunting elk uh, or even up in Alaska if you want to shoot some big bears in Alaska, this will do the job. Uh, it's a lightweight, it's going to be a lightweight rifle, a lot of carbon fiber, and we're just going to kind of go ahead and dig into it. First, we're going to start talking about all the parts and pieces and why I chose them. Then we're going to cut to some of the machining processes. And after that, we're going to fire up and get it rolling on the range for the first shots. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. To start this off, the main piece of the puzzle here is the Defiance Anti-Action. Uh, this thing is 416 stainless. It is solid as can be. It's super smooth. It, uh, it's a dream, honestly. Uh, Defiance is known for having really solid actions. The anti is kind of a, a joke. Uh, it's a anti for anti-titanium. It's a stainless steel action, but it's cut to save a lot of weight while keeping all the strength and the rigidity that stainless steel has to offer. From there, let's go ahead and go off the end of the action, and that would be the barrel. So. For barrel option, I've got a Proof Research carbon fiber 1 in 10 twist 30 cal barrel blank. It's going to be 24 inches overall. It's going to be chambered in 300 Winchester short mag. And I'll talk about the reason I chose uh, the 300 WSM at the end of this once we get to the actual shooting portion. But carbon fiber, save a lot of weight, but still keep the good barrel length and a, a solid heavy profile there. So all that is going to be sitting in this AG Composites Visigoth stock. And let's keep the trend going. This is also carbon fiber. Uh, I've got this one cut. It's got the QD cups on both sides so I can put my QD sling mounts in there. And it's also cut for the Hawkins Precision uh, Detachable Magazine bottom metal. So since we already mentioned it, let's go ahead and hit that next. So like I said, it's going to have a Hawkins Precision's detachable magazine bottom metal, and that will accept AICS pattern magazines. Uh, these, these are known for being really high quality for the money. Talking about the detachable magazines, I got some Accurate Mag 300 WSM specific magazines. Obviously, it's a short action, so you can take most AICS mags and make them work, but these are tuned specifically for uh, 300 short mag. Sitting below all that, we're going to have the Timney Elite Hunter version 2 trigger, and this is adjustable from 1.5 pounds to 4 pounds. I'm probably going to keep it at about 2.5 pounds. That's usually where I like my bolt action triggers to sit. And on the end of the muzzle, of course, we're going to have a Southern Precision Tooling Hoodoo muzzle brake. And might have something a little special for a quick detach for a suppressor, but we'll talk about that later whenever that comes up. Let's go ahead and keep rolling, next portion of the video.
Mm. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not nearly as bad as I expected. All right, guys, so we're out at Southern Precision Tooling with Trent. Trent is the gunsmith that actually worked on my, uh, my gun here. He's the one that built it for me. This is, as you've seen, a Defiance anti-action, proof research, carbon fiber, 30 cal barrel, 1 in 10 twist. Chambered it for 300 WSM, so Winchester short mag. Sitting in an AG composite stock, Hawkins Precision bottom metal, and we've got the Vortex Precision matched rings holding on to the Leopold Mark 5 HD. Trent, go ahead, let's, uh, let's talk about the process of what it takes to get this thing to where it is now. So you started off with a good base. You started off with a Defiance Action, one of the best in the industry as far as a quick to get in hand action, unfortunately not in your case. Yeah. Um, proof research barrel, first for me. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about them. AG Composite Stock, another good company that's new to me. Um, they're going to get a lot of my business, my personal business. Um, naturally, you know the loophole and the Vortex, always good quality products. Uh, started off chucking the barrel up, we decided to thread the muzzle first. Uh, go ahead and get it knocked out in its 5H24 thread for your suppressor from yep. Jim Tech you've got on the way. Yep. Um, went ahead, swapped it around, and chambered it and fit it to the action. Um, shout out to Climber Reamers for fantastic reamer engages. Uh, and then from there, just torqued everything down to 75 foot pounds on the action, uh, 55 inch pounds on the receiver, action screws, and I'm pretty certain you put 25 inch pounds on the scope ring screws. Yeah, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I just used the whatever the Vortex spec was for the scope rings. But went ahead, shot the test chamber. Test chamber looks good. No scratches inside the uh, ring chamber, so I'm happy with it. Um, shockingly, not as much recoil as I would have thought for a sub eight pound gun with optic. Yeah. Uh, it shoots very well, so I definitely look forward to getting it down to Spencer and see how she shoots. Yeah, we're gonna take it to Dead Zero Shooting Park here in a, probably a few weeks, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll put the footage out from that trip. We're gonna try to get Pat, real man of genius, see if he can come on that trip with us. That would be a fun one. Uh, be a fun see one. if he can go with us, and if he can, then uh, that's gonna be an awesome trip. Let's go ahead and uh, wrap this thing up. I appreciate you guys watching. Make yourself better today. Thanks, Trent. Thank you, sir. Next. Didn't think about that. What's wrong? Nothing. In the middle of a video? It's okay. Oh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's stainless steel, so it has. It was actually pretty good. You're good. You're, oh.